project is called Cymolactus as we are studying and experimenting with cymatics in water. For our concept, we are illuminating the imperceptible Fibonacci sequence by projecting sound vibrations into water. We chose to illuminate the Fibonacci sequence as we wish to illustrate that the universe is constructed from numbers and we wanted to convey this through sound and visuals. Um, cymatics is essentially the visualization of sound and um, I guess when, one of the things you learn when visualizing sound, which is what cymatics really does, you learn about the malleability of sound and how, especially when you have very specific frequencies that you want to get across. And so our first step was to um, test out the speakers on various sur surfaces, such as uh, wood and metal, and that we were, we were able to tell how strong the vibrations were. We chose to get an acrylic tray, especially made for um, the table that we were making as well. So the acrylic trays that we got um, were perfect, we needed to just make sure that they weren't leaking or anything like that. Um, but we found that when we put them inside the table that if they weren't completely snug, they would distort the, the vibration and the signal coming through. So we needed to kind of fiddle around with it a bit to make sure that the, the trays weren't moving um, as the frequency of the were played, being played. So it was um, a bit of a, a tricky process, um, but we kind of <laughs> with some blue tack and some tape and things like that and got it working the way we wanted to. A really interesting piece of work basically because the translation and transfiguration of the sound and seeing the, the way that the waves are transposed into waters, it's something that you can actually see, it's something that you can interact with I guess. It's, it's quite a uh, culture in measure how the water, the sound and ima images, patterns combined together is quite amazing art. The sounds were calculated between the ratios between Fibonacci numbers when tuning to A equals 432 hertz. The colors were calculated from the same ratios between the red and the green values in the RGB color model. Fibonacci sequence is a set of numbers from 1 or 0 that proceeds based on a rule that each number equals the sum of preceding two numbers. In nature, this ratio appears in various forms, such as pinecone, beehives, or even human anatomy. The stand consists of two separate stands, a small one for the iPads, where the interface is, and a bigger one with the containers, where you can see all the cymatics. Um, the smaller one, due to its light weight, we use it as an entrance, so you can just move it to the sides, and that way you access all the devices and all the technology. Uh, in regards to the containers, these are placed in small shelves and inside of the biggest, bigger stand. And this way we avoid a permanent solution. So we are able to remove and place again the containers as many times as we want and enable us to change something on the inside. So the aim of the project was for the group to choose a natural phenomenon and highlight its imperceptible qualities and the group have focused on sound waves um, which they've shown through the use of cymatics 
um, which is very exciting to see it for real because in the past I've seen videos on the internet and read papers about it but never seen it actually happening and uh, the group have made a fascinating, really exciting, interesting, interactive installation using sound waves and trays of water. It's a very important website and uh, good interactive uh, display of this. It does exactly what you were sort of sitting out and then on the website. I think it's really great. I think it's wonderful to see how sound kind of becomes alive. So it's um, basically makes more of our senses work at the same time so we can see sound and we can perceive it. So this is quite, quite a uh, wonderful thing. For the project, two months' time is not very long, but as a team, each of us has dedicated to the whole process to make it perfect. As the one who held the camera and witnessed the whole process, I would like to say both the project and the team are worth being cherished and remembered. Although the project we did is seemingly uh, conceptual and experimental at this stage, uh, what we want to realize is that um, if one day we could uh, use digital media to perceive, to feel and to interact with the imperceptible world around us, then what we did would make sense in the future. Oh, you're doing... Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't put that in there. Don't put that in there. No, 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 we, we, we actually spent all weekend inside that table. Yeah, inside. <laughs>